Stephanie Walsh, and this is my Ignite presentation for EDC 534. The first few slides are about what I have learned based on my research for this project on cyberbullying. After, I will talk specifically about my creative project. For the most part, the impact of media, including the internet, has been positive due to convenience and easier access to information. But these technologies also have a negative impact, which can also affect children. Technologies have made it easier for bullies and also making it harder to escape them. Cyberbullying is defined here on the slide and it goes for both boys and girls. So what's the difference? First, cyberbullying can occur anytime, anywhere, and second, there's less supervision online. There are four ways cyberbullying can be achieved, as shown here. And what are the effects of cyberbullying? It can affect the victim's performance in school and lower their self-esteem. It can also affect the bully's future. Immediate actions to take against cyberbullying are don't act on it, walk away. If you see it happening, tell an adult, or you can confront the bully in a respectful manner. If further actions are required, the best advice is to go through your school. They will investigate and handle the situation properly. When must school officials investigate bullying? The answers are when the school environment is no longer friendly for the victim, when the rights of the victim have been violated, and or if the bully's actions are conducted repeatedly, just to name a few. By teaching students good etiquette online, we can decrease the amount of cyberbullying. On this slide, I have highlighted some topics to teach about online etiquette and safety. Common Sense Media is a great resource about digital citizenship. The website offers a digital citizenship curriculum for grades K through 12 that helps to empower students to think critically, behave safely, and participate responsibly. Most of the books I found by visiting multiple libraries and Amazon.com were mostly nonfiction. Not many were for younger school-age children, therefore I decided to create a fictional story for grades 2 through 4 following the events of what happens when someone is cyberbullied. My creative process began with research on the topic of cyberbullying and digital citizenship. I had some ideas, but I had a hard time coming up with how to present those ideas in a storyline. In the end, I decided to present my ideas by imitating Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. The title of my story is Waffles Cyber World, a story about cyberbullying. This is a working title. It takes place at school, Waffles' home, and inside a computer. There are only three characters, Waffles, who is the, who is the main character, Oreo, and Super Mouse. In the beginning of the story, Waffles posts an embarrassing photo of Oreo online. That is when Safety Mouse shows up to warn Waffles about these kind of actions. Safety Mouse magically puts Waffles into a computer to show the past, present, and future. In the past, Safety Mouse relives with Waffles when she posts the photo of Oreo. He gives her tips on how to pause and think online. Safety Mouse explains how to think with your head, feel with your heart, and listen to your gut. Safety Mouse returns Waffles back to the present to show her how the post made Oreo sad and embarrassed, and Waffles begins to realize how her actions can affect others. In the future, Safety Mouse shows Waffles what the consequences could be. He explains that the school might get involved and Waffles could even lose her friendship with Oreo. In the end, Waffles promises Safety Mouse that she will use proper etiquette when online and apologizes to Oreo at school, proving that she has learned her lesson. At the very end of the book, I added appendices that can help start conversations about online etiquette and to help reinforce what the story was teaching. The quote stated here is certainly accurate. I was inspired by previous works to create this project. Creativity is also born out of collaboration with others, which I have also done. Lastly, in this course, we have only briefly mentioned digital citizenship. Therefore, I wanted to explore my new passion further. My hope is to empower children to do the right thing, especially online. And lastly, my book is not 100% complete yet. Therefore, you will have to wait. I will post the fully completed project on my blog for you to view soon.